This is Juan Gomez. This handsome young man was brought to the United States from Colombia in 1990 at the age of two. He is an academic all-star. At Killian Senior High School in Miami, Florida, he earned close to two years of college credit with high scores on 13 advanced placement exams. He scored 1410 out of 1600 on the SAT, and he finished in the top 20 of his class. His economics teacher nicknamed him President Gomez and said he's one of the best students ever to graduate from Killian High School. In 2007, during his senior year in high school, he was placed in deportation proceedings. What happened next is an amazing story. Scott Effelbean was a student body president at Juan's High School. He was also Juan's best friend. He thought it was basically unfair that this young man would be rooted out of school and tossed back into a country he never remembered. Scott started a Facebook page devoted to stopping Juan's deportation. Here's what he wrote on that page. We need your help in saving Juan from being sent to Colombia, a country he doesn't even remember. For those of you who know Juan, he's the smartest, most dedicated kid you can meet. He deserves more than just to be deported out of the United States. Many of us owe him. I know he helped everyone one way or another in school. It's the least we can do for him. Thanks to Scott's initiative, 2,000 people joined Juan's Facebook page. Then Juan's friends came here on Capitol Hill to lobby for him. They persuaded Representative Lincoln Diaz Bollard and Senator Chris Dodd to introduce a bill to stop his deportation. Now, Representative Diaz Bollard is a Republican, but he's also one of the lead sponsors of the DREAM Act in the U.S. House. My good friend and former Senator Chris Dodd was, of course, a Democrat, and it's obvious this isn't a partisan issue. Republicans and Democrats should basically come together and agree that to punish this young man because his parents came here illegally is just fundamentally unfair. After his deportation was stayed, Juan was admitted to Georgetown University on a full scholarship. He's going to graduate from Georgetown in May, and thanks to Congressman diaz Bolart, he has a temporary work permit and has been offered a job at a top financial services firm in New York City. Can we use a person with his skill? Of course we can. Every year, we import thousands of foreigners on H-1B visas. And you know why? Because we say we need these bright minds in America. Well, if we need bright minds in America, why are we exporting those who were raised here and who can bring their skills and talents to a better life for themselves and our nation?